Hey everybody, Matthew Cook here, founder and CEO of GTC Golf Academy. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can hold more four foot putts. Now, I'm gonna preface this by saying that even the best players in the world don't hold all putts. Now granted from four feet, they're right up there at like 97, 98% of putts. But the, the amateur golfer and the average golfer only hold about 47 to 50% of those putts. From three feet and in, there's not really a big difference between a PGA Tour player and an amateur golfer. They're, they're both at like 98, 99%. But once you get outside of that foot range, the amateur drops in half to like 47 to 50%, but the pro is still right up there at high 90s. So the goal really with long putts and hitting into greens is to get the ball inside three feet. You do that, then you've given yourself a 90, 95 and above percent chance of getting the next shot in. But with that being said, I know that there's a lot of golfers out there that, that have a lot of four foot, five foot putts and you need help with it. So um, putting, just like all golf shots, the, the club face is responsible for where the ball starts. And with such a short putt, it's, it's, uh, the, it's not likely that the ball's gonna break as much because it's a shorter length. Now I know you could have some crazy slopes, but if we just take a bigger picture look here. The ball curves more if it has more distance to travel. So a four foot putt doesn't have much distance to travel. So it's not gonna curve that much. And especially for the first few feet in a putt, the ball typically isn't gonna start rolling truly. And uh, it's not gonna start to take break. So it's even more critical in my personal opinion to get, the, to, to get really good at aiming the putter face. And then it's even more, no actually I shouldn't say more important, it's equally as important to hit the ball in the middle. If you hit the ball in the middle of the putter face then you're just optimizing everything, that roll. Um, so this is, I mean you've, you've probably seen this exercise this drill, it's been around for decades, but you, you just can't go wrong with doing it. The issue I have with people doing this T drill, basically I've got a golf ball and then I've put, I placed two T's that my putter can only just fit through, barely fits through it. So I have to hit the ball perfectly in order to not hit either one of these T's. And if I do that with the perfect putter face square to the target line, it's going in all day long. It's not missing. Um, so this super easy drill, I've seen it around for decades. Even when I was like nine years old, someone told me to do this. But I was always told to stand there and hit like 50 to 100 to 150 balls in a row, or uh, you can't leave until you've hold 50 in a row. I think that bit's garbage. I think it's absolutely garbage because you don't get 50 chances on a, on, on a green out on the golf course. What you have to do is you have to you you have to have the uh, 50 shots, 50 puts from here, but you have to do it in an interleaving way. You have to do it where you hit one and then you go and do something else. You hit another putt from somewhere else, or better yet, you go to the range and hit a pitch shot or a driver or something else, which accurately represents what you're going to do out on the golf course. But either way, you can you can you can do a bunch of different drills in an interleaving way and have a really good practice session. And if you, let's say for example, you've got this drill and then you've got a, a, a 20 foot putt that you're trying to roll inside uh, three feet for distance control. And then you've got a tee shot on the driving range, which is just over there. Three different exercises. Now I could hit one putt, I could hit another putt, I could go to the range and hit a tee shot. Then I could come back here, hit one putt, the second putt, onto the range, hit the tee shot. I could do that 50 times. And then I would have hit 50 putts I would have hit 50 long putts. I would have hit 50 drives. So that practice is way better than hitting 50 here, then 50 there, then 50 there. Blocked, massed practice is not going to work or help you. You're going to get a false sense of confidence. And I know that people out there will say to me, well, confidence is still confidence. BS. One putt, one putt, one shot back here. If you're a beginner, okay maybe two or three, two or three, two or three. Or I would never, if you're completely new to the game, then I would let you maybe do 10 because with 10, you start to get this image in your mind. So I'm okay with that, but I'm a pro. So I'm hitting one and decent golfers should also hit one. So 
the tees are just wide enough for my putter to fit through. I take my setup. Now I have to hit this ball and put perfectly for that ball to go in. Ooh! Missed the tees. Putter face was closed, lipped out on the left. Not good. So let's imagine that I've hit a long putt. I've gone to the range and now I'm back here doing the drill. Set up, ball in the middle, put a just fits through. I have to re-engage my brain. I have to remember that last time I closed the face, I've got to adapt and adjust to the new demands. Boom. And I adapted, I adjusted, and that's where the learning's at. Simple drill, two tees, making a gate that your putter barely fits through. That's going to help you strike the ball in the middle. It's going to help your contact. It's also going to help you build awareness of where the face is pointing. And the most important, you're going to hold more four-foot putts. I hope that helps, and I'll see you in another training video.